guys and welcome to the plush collection my mario plush collection we got a lot to go through so i highly recommend y'all subscribe so i can keep this channel going i know it on this video this channel only started out with just um orville's orville's peanuts where um orville is out of peanuts and he goes to buy more I know that video was stupid, but that was the same day I got the plush, so I had nothing to do. So sweet. Anyways, um, let's get the plush collection. We're gonna start out with the Mario section, kind of like Mario and every type of Mario I have. Let's start. We're gonna go from my oldest Mario's to my newest Mario's. My first Mario, the a very rare Mario actually, and my oldest Mario. The, I don't remember this type of Mario. I think I, I, I think it's like the. It's not the Goldie Mario. I know that. But also, um, this is not actually gonna be no Mario my series. I got an All Stars Mario that's missing his hat, but I will be having his hat. This is Evil Mario or Imposter Mario, where he is the bad guy of the series. Which you could tell because his, because the marker on, the mark on his hat is black instead of red. Anyways, um, I think this is a pretty good Mario. He's not in the best condition. Like his overalls can come off, but gotta stay family friendly here, and no one wants to see Mario without overalls. So let's move on. Next, we got the All Stars Mario. I can't find his hat, but this is the All Stars Mario. I got him one day. His hat came off. That's why he has a hole in the top of his head. But hey, this Mario's in pretty good condition. Oh, always soft. I really like him. That one's mustache came off once, by the way. I really like this Mario. Got, I know, I got a rare, I know. I got a rare All-Stars plush before I got a common All-Stars plush, which is, uh, which I know. Which will be after Metal Mario. I I really like the design of this plush. I just the one thing I hate about this plush is the material they always have on glossy plush. Like I have a charged creeper plush. If I can, I'll put a picture up here. That I don't like its material. Basically, if you, if y'all have it, y'all understand. You flip it up. It's all like all on fluffy. We swipe it down. It's no plush material. I, I do not like this glossy material. I think they should make it normal. Like, use the same material they did for the um, World Nintendo. No more. Oh. Okay, that thing's ugly. Yeah, I'm glad they made a remake. Make it out of the same material that one had, though. Seriously. But please, do not buy World Nintendo plush unless it's like a Yoshi or something, okay? Here's the common plush I was talking about. All Stars from Mario, my newest Mario. As you see, there's red on his hand. That's the fireball. I know, very creative. Anyways, um, I think this man is really good. He is in he is in the best condition Mario I have. So it's no Mario, but here's saying I do I I do not regret I can't I do not regret not getting that second Metal Mario push. Which, if you don't know, I went to GameStop to get the Metal Mario, to get a plush and stuff. My um, two fifteen dollar GameStop gift card, so yeah. Please wait. Anyways, I saw two Metal Marios and a Bob Bomb. I got the Bob Bomb and the Metal Mario, which you'll see the Bob Bomb and the, um, JK Bobby from Origami King later in this video. Anyways, um... Basically, I want, I reg I kind of regret and kind of don't regret getting the second Mario. That one was less deform, was really deformed. And I knew I, and I knew what I could have did. I could have, I wanted to make the metal cap because I wanted the, um, I wanted a Super Mario 64 series. So I wanted to cut off that one's hat and make the metal cap. But I decided to scratch the idea. Because I could just draw the metal cap, which I'm very good at drawing, so I can make it just look 3D, you know? Anyways, that is 
all the Mar I think that is all the Mario's I have. Let's move on to the Luigi's. All stars and baby. There you go. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Luigi is was always the better brother to me. He jumps higher. He flutters in the air. He's not faster. He does take a long time to stop. Like. Anyways, um, Luigi's my favorite. I got Baby Luigi before him. I got him at Walmart, and my dad said this was the final push of the game, but only if, he only, only if he knew that it wasn't, which I'm now cursed with 200 plushies. But hey, we don't talk about that, you know? We don't talk about that. Anyways, um, then we got Luigi. I woke up in my mom and dad's room because, well... My mom was sleeping on the couch and my dad was at work all out of town. So I just fell asleep in their bed. I woke up and I saw Luigi hanging. Hanging by the little tag on top of my mom's door. I tried reaching him but he couldn't reach him. So I had to do the Mario thing and punch him. His balls. Just to get him down. Which I think was hilarious. I told my mom about it and... You know, Luigi's just really good. I came, I got his voice immediately. Hey, Mario. Like, I got his voice immediately. <laughs> I also used to do a, bot, a lot of Smash Bros. things with him. So, if y'all want me to do a Smash Bros. Spirit Series, and I get all the characters from Smash Bros. Ultimate, I can do it. Now time for the, um, the good guys, normal good guys category. And then we'll go into the bad guys, and then the um, non-Mario characters, just characters I count as in the Mario series. So let's start with the good guys. Got Toad, Blue Toad, aka Bubbles, aka Max. Then we got Normal Red Toad. My mom just found him one day, he's really good I think. Aka there is a cancelled video which I think I might re-upload called The Fire Flower. I would go ahead and show you the plush. Now. Uh, barely, I think barely plush tubers have this plush. The World of Nintendo Fire Flower plush, which I use as a normal character. Which was used in the Fire Flower, where Mario eats it, and he gets Fire Mario, and then starts burning down Toad Village, village and burning corpses, and... You know, doing normal Mario things, like doing normal Mario, doing what Mario does, killing toads, killing, sacrificing Yoshi, stomping Goomba's brains out, killing Koopa Troopas, you know, the basics. Okay, we're all calm now. <laughs> we're all calm. <laughs> Let's go over to the rest of the characters. We got Yoshi, aka Joey, aka Max and Joey are from Awesome Mario Bros. I just like those names better than Joseph and Cody, which I will be getting a Koopa Troopa and Magic Koopa plush because I think those names are better for them. Those, and I'll just make this normal Yoshi and normal Toad. But they will always rem be remembered in our hearts as the original Joey and Max. Okay, Yoshi's Joey, to Blue Toad's Max. Don't get confused. All right, now we got normally villains and Mario, but since I made them all be nice to each other, I'm just gonna add them as the um, the Bowser section. So yeah, let's start. First off, we got Bowser Jerry. Yes, I know it's a bootleg, but hey, I like this blush. One day I might get the the normal one because ugly, but hey, okay, we have what we have. Larry, gone for Christmas. His one. Is still intact. I don't remove him like Super Mario. Super Mario Richie, I don't remove him like that. Sorry, it's no offense to him. Also, when I put him in the dryer because he was dirty, his teeth, the hot glue for his teeth melted and now his teeth stick up, which I actually like. Because when the teeth sticks down, it doesn't look that good, but when they stick up, they're pretty good. Also, Reynolds knows that I was originally supposed to. I'm, I want to make a summer camp series like super aw like awesome Mario Bros because I love awesome Mario Bros. He is my favorite plush tuber. No offense to Mario, no offense to Mario Richie. Anyways, um, so yeah. 
I went ahead and started. I went. I'm already recorded it. I'm gonna be recording it when this video is out. It'll probably be done being recorded. Also, let me know if you want to do some collabs with like Super Kid or something. My TikTok will be linked in the description, and you can go and comment on one of my TikToks, at telling me if you want me to do a collab with Super Kid, aka Hayden. It's next door to me. Let me know if you want to do that. Yes, two new two YouTubers live in the same neighborhood. Don't judge me. Then we got Lemmy, my favorite. Now, um, Lemmy, I get is supposed to be the second, the the first oldest, or like the the oldest after Ludwig, the oldest before Ludwig. But you know, you cannot tell he's he's that old. You cannot tell he's like fourteen. He at least looks like four. So, so I make him the youngest. And Larry. 13 years old because you know age logic yay just look at those cute little eyes one's pink because i tried making a black eye but i accidentally did burn that marker but it makes him unique all right don't judge me who could say no to that face right he does not look 14 he or 16 he at least looks four or three or younger now that we're out of that state, let's real quick, um, I'm not, I'll do the enemies for a different video. For now, let's add the characters that I count as in the Mario series, but aren't actually from Mario. Playtime, aka Susie, aka Kenzie, um, Larry Jr. and Lemmy's friend. Uh, all, <laughs> she basically lives with them. Because she's in every freaking episode, I need to take a break. I know I need to go to sleep. I haven't slept in, guys, I literally haven't slept in two days because I've been uploading videos for y'all. Should I go to sleep? I think I should go to sleep soon. Oh, yeah, boo. No. Boo. Hey, you're blocking my view. Boo, boo. Nope, you get back in where you belong, motherfucker. Let's move on. That was part. This is my Mario Push Collection. Now I know I have enemies, which I have a lot of enemies actually, but hey. I think I, that's going to end it off. I'll, the other enemies will be introduced and when I get more, like a Koopa Troopa. So yeah, when I get more enemies, I'll do a. Um, when I get more Mario Pushies. Hopefully this Christmas I'll um, get some videos out. So next video is coming out. I know Plant vs Zombies, Plant Dot Dead Plants .exe series will come out soon. I know I said seven days before our Halloween. Well, I didn't go trick or treating this Halloween, so it's canceled until early 2022. So keep, I'll keep you updated if I can if I can get a schedule going. I really love doing these videos for y'all. Forager blew up. Didn't blow up in the way I thought it would, but hey, no one's really done Forager. But hey, I, hopefully I can get part two out if y'all want me to. I'm trying to get part two out as long as, as fast as I can. Uploading has just been hard for me because I've ha been having school going on. And oh shoot, we're past the 10 minute mark. Oh, anyways, um... I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.